I don't want pity. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. You know, I, I just, if my story can reach one person, you know, that, that's all I want. Coming up tonight, an Indiana woman hopes people learn from her mistake this holiday weekend after nearly losing her hand to fireworks. Her story is part of the thousands of firework related injuries reported every year in the U.S. Our Leah Blackburn spoke with her and with experts about the reminders to play it safe. I don't have the prettiest hand anymore, but I still have um, my whole hand on my fingers. This 4th of July, Christina Anima plans to celebrate the little things. I was released from my surgeon this past March. For nearly two years, she's worked to regain the use of her right hand. That's after nearly losing it in 2020 when the mortar fireworks she was holding exploded. I just remember looking down and I could see my bone. Some of the pictures of her injuries are just too graphic to show. Spending eight days in the hospital, Anima had at least 15 broken bones, six dislocations, plus hundreds of stitches and numerous surgeries. Firework related injuries over the last 15 years or so, numbers have shown that that's gone up about 25%. Hearing that, is that surprising? That's quite in line with what we've seen, um, and in particular recently over the pandemic. Dr. Eric Streib at Eskenazi yeah, Health says think. easier access to powerful fireworks leaves more room for risk if not handled correctly. Some of the common injuries, he says, include a variety of burns, especially to the fingers and hands. Physically, I'm good now, um, but, you know, I'm still healing mentally. The scars go deeper than what you see on Anima's hand, and while she's not celebrating this year, she hopes others who do will take it from her. Leave them up to the professionals. Go watch them where you can enjoy them. In Hamilton County, Aaliyah Blackburn, Fox 59 News. Aaliyah, thanks. Be safe out there. According to experts, they say it's so important to be safe this holiday season. About 11,000 firework-related injuries resulted in ER treatment last year. That's down from 2020 when many displays were canceled because of COVID.